who is here now breaking news Jonathan Glazer is now on the red carpet as well he is the man behind the film the zone of interest about the house by Auschwitz um, Sandra Huller stars in that one as well so it's a story about the family who uh, live right next door to Auschwitz they've been by the lake they've got a swimming pool they buy the um, concentration camp sometimes on the film you can see a bit of smoke rising up but that film directed by Jonathan Glazer is called The Zone of Interest and here we have the crew on the red carpet to make that film there were about 10 cameras used they uh, created a house to look like the house the really the house that really did exist back in history and uh, Jonathan Glazer set up his cameras got them got them turning and filming and he went to the uh, to a control room somewhere and he just watched what was happening on the uh, on the screens now we've got a bit of a hint here because Sandra Hula has come not with uh, Jonathan Glazer but with Justine Trier now perhaps that gives us a bit of an inkling there we are, Jonathan Glazer. His film went re down really well with foreign critics and a few French uh, critics, but the French weren't as enthusiastic as the foreign critics were. So, Quentin Tarantino is being greeted at the top of the steps. There's the mayor of Cannes there, David Lisnard. There's also Madame Robloch, president of the festival, and we have uh, Mr. Thierry Fremont, who is the um, general manager of the festival. Here we have Jonathan Glazer on your screen, director of the Zone of Interest. <laughs> Now, I've got a question here. I'm not going to do a whole quiz, but this is just a, a one-off uh, question, a technical question. Sandra Hula, who we've talked about quite a lot, could she win a Best Actress Prize for both films? Well, I'm not sure. If that was to be the case, then... Um, the jury will have had to have asked Thierry Frémont for permission. So that's a bit of a tricky one that I'm not sure it would happen. I don't think there's ever been an example of that in the past. There have been joint best actresses, the Alma Doval, um, the film Anne de Gênes, and also there was the Kishish film, Blue is the Warmest Colour, where the prize went to the director and the two actresses. And here we have Nuri Bilge Jelan with his leading lady. Goodness me, they're all here. It's difficult to, uh, to make out who else is going to get a prize. So here we have Nuri Bilge Jelan. His film was called About Dry Grasses. And uh, so he's here with Denise uh, Chelyloglu, who is the leading lady from that film. So, Chorus Mackey apparently is back in town as well. He, he, Chorus Mackey is a man who said that he'd made half of his films drunk and half of his films sober. <laughs> And he um, is kind of cruel to the younger generation, saying that they, that the younger ones, have to choose either the bar or shooting a film, whereas he seems to do both at the same time. So Niri Niri Bilge Jolan back in town. Of course, he won his Golden Palm for Winter Sleep. That was in 2014. But this year, the film in competition is called About Dry Grasses. And it stars Denise Kelly Loglu, who is with the director on the red carpet right now. They could be uh, a Best Director Prize. Who knows? Who knows what it's going to be?